For those of you who don't know me, I'm Paula and I'm here to do my broad thoughts uh, this morning. So it's been a great series. I hope you've caught the others. Um, there's been some amazing God thoughts that really have made me stop and think. Um, so if you've not caught the others, then please do look back and, um, and have a look at the other God thoughts that have been shared. Um, it's a great series. So my God thought today is um, that at the beginning of the year, for the last few years, I, I know uh, some people do this, um, I ask God for a Bible verse to um, one that will be relevant for the year ahead and one that I can really meditate on and take forward. And uh, so this year, for 2023, um, I felt that God, that uh, the Lord gave me Isaiah uh, 26 verses 3 to 4. And it says, um, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. Now, uh, when I was given this, I, I felt a little, oh, that's a bit ominous because the Lord is saying, you know, you need to trust in me. Um, and when I kind of asked him, what, what does this mean? Um, he, he, I, gave, I got the feeling that it was uh, very much uh, that certain things may well happen this year that I will find difficult or that I might struggle with or might not even be what I think is for the best. But he's, he was saying to me, you know, you need to trust in me, let go and trust that I have a plan. And so um, as the years unfolded, um, certain things have happened in my family. So it's not really for me, but for my family members uh, where they, they've had struggles or decisions to make. And, um, and certain things have happened that perhaps I wouldn't naturally agree with or naturally think is for the best. And just as they were unfolding, I felt the Lord really draw close to me and say, trust me, trust me, let go. And this has helped me to step back, step back and let things unfold and trust that the Lord has this, that I don't need to take control. I don't need to direct things. I just need to step back and trust. Um, and sure enough, things are unfolding that, that I wouldn't have perhaps agreed with. But I, I have this real sense that God is in it and it's the right decision uh, because God's got a plan. And so this has allowed me to have a real peace. And again, it, you know, it comes back to this where it says, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. And because of this verse, I've been able to just step back and allow things to unfold and trust that God's got the right plan um, ahead. And so um, I really urge you uh, to maybe, if you've never done this before, to think about asking God for a verse. So, I mean, we're coming up towards September, perhaps uh, the new ac academic year is relevant to you. And it might be something that you want to ponder um, over the rest of August, is to whether God will give you a verse for the forthcoming academic year that, that you can hold on to um, because he knows what's going to happen. He knows what you're going to face. And, um, and having a verse in your back pocket that you can look at and go back to God with, and it allows you to just know that he is in control. So um, if you've never tried it before, give it a go. I really do recommend it. So um, yeah, for any of you that this verse also might mean something to you today, I'll just read it again. It's um, Isaiah 26, verse 3 to 4, and it says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. So, Lord, I just pray for everyone who is watching this, that they will know that you, you are the rock eternal. You are the one that they need to hold on to, that they can stand on, and you will never, ever let them down. Amen. So, see you soon. That's my God thought, and may you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.